Uh, we put in a lot of work. Um, unfortunately, my teammates out, and that allows for another spot forward. But that's that's racing. It's the way it goes. So uh, we worked hard, and uh, I like the sand. So uh, we'll see how it goes. With top contender Cody Webb sitting on the sideline for this race with a wrist injury, this leaves an open seat at the table for the top racers to advance up. 40 pro riders and over 150 amateurs line up to challenge their physical and mental game. This is a very unique terrain. We have Navajo sandstone out here, which is fossilized sand. You go from zero traction to full traction, and then you get sand on sandstone, and you have no traction again. It's a very dynamic terrain, and it's constantly changing. It breaks down. What you rode on lap one is not going to be the same as lap two. The grinding stone Hard Enduro is the first stop of the AMA IRC US Hard Enduro Series, presented by Inside Enduro. For the next five hours, these riders will be pitted against the harsh Arizona desert, made to test man and machine. Round one's always the big one. We have all the fastest riders that have been training all year coming out, ready to throw down. That's gonna add a lot of elements beyond what the course is bringing. It's gonna be a long five hours and a lot of gnarly obstacles. I think guys are gonna push too hard early and, and kinda hit the wall, so don't wanna let them get away, but we'll uh, hopefully be there at the end. What's very exciting to me out here about round one is we have maybe a changing of the tides, we'll see, but we have the OGs and then we got the young kids coming up. The young kids are chomping at the bit to try to get some of the OGs and the OGs can always hold it down. So the course is gonna be very testing, especially with the time and the endurance factor. So we'll see where it goes. Tensions are high between riders, a rivalry that is deeply rooted in hard enduro. Can the OGs hold it down? or will the young guns risk it all for a chance to win? If you're fighting for a win, you'll risk anything, you know? That you're like, I could hurt myself doing that, or I could win the race doing that. You go for it, you know? Play the simple. There's a lot of big obstacles. If stuff goes wrong, I mean, it's not a little fall sometimes. Usually it's the bike starts tumbling and uh, just trying to keep the bike in good shape. One big fall could possibly break some of the bike and uh, these rocks aren't soft. If it hits the rock pretty hard, it could mess something up, but uh, try not to do that too much and try and keep it on two wheels. There's definitely some high consequences with this race. Uh, having some balls a little bit to uh, go up some of those steep hills and uh, just committing, that's huge. This 14 mile, four lap race is anything but tame. With extreme exposure and questionable traction, these riders are putting everything on the line to keep their bike in one piece to advance along the course. What do you think your strong suit's going to be coming into this? I can't say much right now because I'm I didn't know the track, I didn't watch it, I just arrived right now, so I don't know. We'll find out. The ribbon's there and you just gotta follow it and uh, hope for the best. So uh, it'll be interesting, but uh, it's always good to be a little scared in races sometimes. You've gotta push yourself. In this sport, you've gotta, you've gotta be uncomfortable with things. For me, I was definitely scared last year, and I had some good crashes last year where it made me even more scared. These walls are just massive. Like everything that you kind of look around, you know that you're gonna have to go up or down those things. People are gonna be sending their bikes up there just to get the bike up on the ledge and then climb up to it. You know, it comes with the terrain, it comes with this sport, and uh, it'll be exciting. Among the familiar faces in the race this year, there is a new outside force to be reckoned with. David Knight, the godfather of hard enduro, has traveled to the United States to compete in this year's U.S. Hard Enduro Series. If I do good, if I get a podium or top six or something like that, I'm like, oh, that was good. 
you know, it can still do it. The old dog can still can still pull the result. <laughs> yeah, I'm back over in the US, racing after all these years, basically because I loved racing here and um, yeah, can't wait. Shot. Young gun James Flynn takes out David Knight on the inside corner. A good start gone wrong for the European champion. Losing valuable placement this early on can be devastating. Here comes Tristan. Ooh, Cooper Abbott around the outside with a hot line. Ryder LeBlanc very close. Tim Apollo right there. All taking the same line up the first part. Where is David Knight, Quinn Wetzel, Spencer Wilton, Will Reardon? They're all here, folks. Determined to put some distance between themselves and the amateurs, the pros fight to lock in an early position before costly bottlenecks take a toll on their pace. Okay, here we are. System is down, made it just in time. Dropping in, Ryder LeBlanc just passes Tristan Hart for the lead. Ryder is a strong starter and he's banking on that today. Woo, let's go, boys. Christian. Come on, Cooper. Good job, guys. Well, let's hear what you got, buddy. There goes Ken. There goes Ryan Will. Danny Lewis. McCarthy. Quinn, let's go, Quinn. There goes Tristan. There goes Will. We got a nice little battle on our hands here, folks. I'm gonna follow Spenny for a second here. Let's go, Spenny! Get some in-race action here. Spencer needs to be taking big, deep breaths and finding a rhythm right now. This is his time. a very strong competitor out of Australia. He is certainly looking to prove himself today as he drops down the incredibly steep luge. Without a proper speed check, this obstacle could lead to disaster. Media car here, we're trying to get to uh, the right section. We're rolling here. Here comes the leader, this is IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Starts with a big, gnarly crack of a downhill. There's gonna be a little bit of bottlenecking here. This is where the riders really need to slow down the mind, start taking some deep breaths, mental fitness start to play a factor. This crack is gnarly, getting up out of it is even worse. Cooper Abbott, Will Reardon, and Tristan Hart are at the front of the pack. These riders must choose their path carefully as they fight for the top position. Let's see what Cooper can do here. He's gotta make some quick decisions. This is what's hard about being in the lead. Tristan shoots the gap, taking the lead from Cooper. Ryder LeBlanc attempts the same line and isn't able to pull it off. Okay, Cooper's up. Ryder makes a rookie mistake. James Flynn is in fifth place here. He just flushes out of the crack. Let's see what he does. He's got experience in this terrain. He should blast right up this. Flynn takes a good line and nails it first try. Energy conservation at its finest. Quinn with the trial skills clean the first try. Luis charges ahead, dominating the ladies pro class as she races through the course. Morgan Tanky continues to hold strong in second. With the pros in the lead and the amateurs hot on their heels, competitors help each other through the tough obstacles. These guys are pretty much accustomed to spinning out and getting stuck. Letting the emotions get involved at this point, this deep in the race, these guys know that it's just a waste of energy. 
when it comes to challenging sections of the course, technical riding experience and the ability to navigate the course with fewer mistakes is what separates the winners from the rest of the pack. Max Gersten catches up with rider LeBlanc, who is currently in third, as they approach Stairway to Heaven. Going for the clean here. He gets it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at this guy right now. He's out here running. Will Reardon tries his luck at the hardest obstacle on the course. It's a risky strategy, but many riders will end up sending their bikes to the top. We got fifth place coming in here. Pretty far gap back. This is James Flynn. He is a local to this area. He has practiced this very step. The amount of practice, he should be able to ride right up that, but a little mistake checks him up. Oh, Flynn's having some issues up there. David Garza and Danny Lewis have opted to team up together and help each other up this obstacle. This is a very smart move in my opinion. So this is gonna pay dividends for both him and Danny Lewis. They're gonna save energy and they're gonna get up more efficiently and faster. But before our two riders could put their plan in motion, Tim Apol decides to shoot the gap. Wow! Wow, that was unbelievable. Spencer Wilton also tries his luck and gets denied. That's what you don't want to do, folks. That's a rough go right there. I've done that and that is not fun. With a few quick adjustments to his bike, he's back on the move. These riders continue to dig deep to make progress on this grueling course as Tristan widens his lead. Cooper conserves energy as he navigates down Greta's diner. With one lap to go, do you get water? Do you get snacks? Do you get food? What do you do? Checking in back at the pits, rider LeBlond makes an exceptionally quick stop. At just 20 years old, Ryder is showing no signs of slowing down. Will this decision allow him to widen his lead on Cooper? Only time will tell. Holding on to third place, Cooper also comes in for a pit stop. August Pascal, a new rider on the hard enduro scene, is pushing hard to make a name for himself. So close. This is going to be his third attempt at double bogey here. This is a very tricky obstacle, you guys. Very nicely done. Agus Pascal was able to learn and adapt with every time that he tried it. Let's see if Brandon Preachy is able to do the same thing. Look at the sheer face of this. Leggy, notchy, not smooth transitions all the way up, which just takes an insane amount of technique and skill to execute this perfectly. It's very, very difficult. While the pros clean up on some sketchy obstacles, Louise Forsley exits the pits as she maintains first place among the women riders. Continuing on their second lap, the amateurs are determined to hold on to their momentum. Carnage everywhere. All these guys are trying their absolute hardest. How's everybody doing? Good job, good job. There is no shortage of exposure on this course with narrow ledges providing the only path forward. The slightest mistake could be costly. Here comes Cooper Abbott. He is looking very, very solid. He's found his rhythm, he's found his speed. Now he's just applying it. He's letting the race come to him at this point. We got James Flynn. I'm gonna go ahead and follow him into the beta bowl. Let's see how he's looking. In the final lap, the riders are drawn forward by the promise of the finish line. For him to be charging as hard as he is at this stage of the race is mind blowing. With raw determination, these riders have proven that man and machine can conquer unimaginable terrain. They push forward, 
against all odds in the pursuit of victory. And so it's in these final moments that new legends are born. Tristan Hart approaches the finish line with unshaken confidence, lapping the competition along the way. Taking home the gold, the Canadian's hard work paid off. Did you keep up? <laughs> Good job, buddy. Congrats, nice work. That's impressive. I, I underestimated it. Definitely harder than it looked. Ryder LeBlanc just told me that he puked a little bit coming down right there. What a soldier this guy is. Just keep pushing forward. Ryder LeBlanc takes second place. Cooper Abbott rounds out in third. So three, man. That's killer. You needed that. Good start. Luis Forsley comes in first place as the ladies' pro class champion. James Flynn come in and just like tried to snap on the bike into T Bow and me, hand wet on his back wheel, oh. wrist. I thought I was done. I thought it was typical, that's just my look. Here comes David Knight, the absolute legend. And I got news for you, he has got it out for Flynn. We got some mid race shit talk going on here. What did you say to him when you got to the top, top of Stairway to Heaven? I can't repeat on camera, mate. <laughs> The young bucks stopped at nothing to carve out a position in the series, causing new vendettas to be formed. Tristan, you put on a clinic today, buddy. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We celebrate today not only their present moment, but their past effort in the pursuit of victory. Because every triumph is a testament to their dedication. But what really makes a champion? Not just the talent or the title. It's their determination, perseverance, and their unbreakable will to win.